here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Today, very comfortable to be out and about, working outdoors, playing outside with the kids. The air is dry overhead, but we are keeping our eye on a disturbance that's actually in the southeastern United States. You see this mass of rain, thunderstorms that's impacting South Carolina, especially today. Well, that eventually was going to work its way east and maybe even taking for a time a track offshore. National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on this because if it gets into the warm ocean waters, it may have and take on some tropical characteristics. The result for us won't change much. We're looking at some heavier rainfall potentially from that system, along with some embedded thunderstorms and possibly some higher surf and gusty winds at the shoreline. And the timing for that is at the end of the week. So looking at our live Doppler radar right now, it is quiet. We'll keep the pleasant weather going through the day today. Humid stretches ahead. That starts overnight tonight with morning fog, likely the next few mornings and the threat of isolated thunderstorms uh, getting back into our forecast starting tomorrow. Then late week, I'm tracking that rainfall and I'll show you the latest data that's in on that. North Sidgwick has the sunshine. Again, the coastline we've been holding on to some extra clouds. Winds out of the south at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll keep those winds going through the afternoon. Lower and middle 70s for many spots this noontime. One of the warmest locations is Taunton. 71 in New Bedford and in Providence with those southeast winds. But this is a number that really makes for a comfortable summer day. Dew points that are running in the 50s and lower 60s. That for July is, is pretty comfortable. By tomorrow, dew points will be pushing 70. That's when that air starts to feel oppressive. And once that hot, humid air moves in, it's sticking around through the rest of this week. So our forecast for today, this afternoon, mid to upper 70s, mainly sunny skies, dry and pleasant. Be Beaches will see more of a mix of clouds and sunshine, 73 there for the high with the water temperature in the upper 60s, the surf running at about two to three feet. Next tide is the low tide at 327 this afternoon. High tide peaks at 1037 this evening. And by that time, the clouds are rolling in. We'll see some patchy fog, slight chance of a shower overnight tonight and not as comfortable for sleeping. The reason for the clouds and the shower is this warm front still to the southwest of us this noontime, but we'll be lifting northward during the night. So as we head into those nighttime hours, you can see the clouds rolling in from west to east and the slight chance of a brief shower. We may wake up to some patches of drizzle or mist in the morning tomorrow. The clouds should thin to partly sunny skies, still dry at noontime. We will be watching in the afternoon for some isolated showers and thunderstorms. Most of those stay north and west of our area, not out of the question, especially northwest Rhode Island, for an isolated shower or thunderstorm to work its way in by the late afternoon or evening tomorrow better chance for us all to get some rainfall late in the week. This is Friday morning. That rain spreading northward. Some of it could be heavy at times, lasting at least into the early part of Saturday. Right now, Saturday's got a little bit of an unsettled look. Some of our computer models are faster than others, kind of bringing it in and out. So we'll keep you updated on it. Seven day forecast upper 70s today, then in the 80s for highs. Hot weather Thursday, upper 80s, another day for an isolated thunderstorm.